Well, uh, first I should differentiate between the listed publicly traded REITs versus the non-listed, um, call them private REITs that are out there. They're both public companies subject to the SEC, but their measurements are different. Uh, if you look at the publicly traded sector, uh, it's more, it more acts as a bond. Investors are chasing yield because they're not getting it in fixed income. They're not getting it in the treasury market. They're not getting it in CDs. Uh, they're looking to it for dividends in the stock market. They're also looking at it through the REITs. And as such, they've driven the prices up. The, the amount of value that is, that is part of the returns in REITs today doesn't reflect the value of the underlying re, uh, real estate. Or in a non-traded REIT, the share price changes once a year, and it has to be expressed in the absolute value of the real estate, not the stock. So it's truly a different measure. Uh, the difference you see is more in the dividend and the distribution. In the publicly traded sector, they trade around 3.5%, 3.6%, and in the non-traded space, it's 6 to 7.5%. So are your dividends increasing? Uh, no, we keep them flat. Um, we are REIT. You're required to pay out 90% of your distributable income. So we keep a flat level income stream. And if there's extra cash from operations, you pay it out in a 13th dividend. So what are you doing with your cash in terms of opportunities? What's interesting? Where specifically within the real estate market are you finding some value? You'll find that sponsors are very specific to what sector they invest in. A healthcare REIT you know, is just healthcare. An office REIT is office. Um, it's based on your expertise. We are you know, kind of interesting because we're a hybrid REIT. We invest on the equity side in office and industrial. Uh, and we make loans. We're actually a lender too. Uh, we do have another REIT that participates in the multifamily recovery. We have a multifamily REIT. And we have a third product which is unique to the space because we don't pay a dividend. It's a total return product that focuses on distressed debt.